Why not a David key or a Brian key? I love your bit butts. Ooh, I ordered a new lawnmower. I got this in Argos. It was only 160. My ex gets to have this kind for some reason, so he got 20% off. So I only got it for 128. I know if I'm able to move around everywhere without worrying about like you know throwing a lead over me, it will take me so much faster. And life is just too short to be spent mowing the lawn. Hello everyone! Guess where I'm going? No one guess. Yes, I am off to pick up Ayla. So um, yeah, my battery for my cordless lawnmower is charging and I'm very excited. I was so excited that I like shared it with my friends. I was like, look! My friend was like, ah, oh, adult goals. This is when I knew like, oh, I, I must be getting older because you get excited about things that you did not used to. I remember I used to see how excited people used to get over like lawnmowers and vacuum and I used to think oh how sad and now I realize I'm one of them. When you're an adult with lots of responsibilities, luxuries are when you can get a product that can make your life easier. Then these things are gold. So it's been a, a week since I got home from my feet by training and I am now on level six. So it feels like it's halfway but like it's actually the last six levels that are the hardest but um, so far, progress has been good. I know I'm someone that if I'm not good at something right away, like the ego part of me just doesn't want to continue. Just like with anything, it requires time and patience. So, um, you know, with the PMU, it's really taught me a lot about preservation. I have been looking into like electric cars or hybrid cars. If anyone has any experience of them or any advice i would love to know in the comments i don't live very far away from the kids school um but you know going back and forth back and forth like six times a day the petrol adds up don't quite know you know um the full benefits of a hybrid and if it's just worth going full electric um obviously there's pros and cons with both sides if you guys have an experience of them or any advice I would appreciate that so much. I picked up Ayla and you know as I was waiting in the car park for her, um, I got a little notification that with my feverish training I am now on level 7. So 5 more levels to go. I know there's a bunch of different uh, academies right there um, but from my experience, um, Fee have just their programming, the structure of the course is just so wonderful. I noticed when I was like following like a bunch of different artists, all of my favorite artists, they just all happen to have trained the feet. Another beautiful day to have lunch outside. Just drawing on the floor. Sun visor mode is back on. Yes. Are you having fun, baby? Yeah. There's roadworks going on for some reason everywhere. It just means going home and coming back takes a while and I already don't have that much time before I have to grab Ayla from school. So I brought my supplies. I've got my U-Blade, I've got my ink here, I've got some wipes, I've got my pencil sitting there. i got references here, I've got my music. I knew this little clipboard would come in handy because it's a bit cramped in here, but I'm thankful I can do this. <coughs> yeah, flash forward an hour. I thought it was a good idea. I managed to stab myself twice. Once by dropping it. Imagine straight down. Stabbed me in the thigh second time. I dropped it and I had to feel around. And as I was feeling around, I was thinking, ah, oh, you know what are the chances? Yep, stabbed myself right in the hand. Because of the, the way I'm sitting like this, I have to use my knees to support my clipboard. I kept getting pins and needles. I must have poor blood circulation. I had to move my car because the sun kept moving and got to a point I had to use my coat to cover sun. And also because it wasn't like completely flat, clipboard was like this. Now my hand hurts. Just couldn't get a good position. So even though I was practicing, like it wasn't good. Isn't the weather so nice? I can't see you. Where are you, Ayla? Yeah. Oh my goodness, where? Where are you? Hey! Focus on one step. Yes, you're almost there, Isaac. You're, I would say you're about 70% there. The ropes are very strong, so don't worry. Mama, you didn't see me going down that slide. Mama. Good job. Now you're 80% there. Yeah? 
slowly but surely. Yay! Uh, we're just sitting in this little hill. It's nicely warmed up by the sun. Oh, where does it go? What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is! What the? There he is! Do you want to go join him? This week, Isaac is finishing early, so we thought the weather's so nice, how to take them for a nice walk, burn some energy, and then we'll get home and make dinner. <laughs> I love them so much. I was mowing the lawn, and I ended up coming out in my gardening slippers. I put these slippers on if I'm out rolling the bins. Hiya! Ava! Run, run, run! Home. Let's prep some chicken wings to make honey chicken wings. I say, come on, let's do spellings. So hopefully it's gonna be an easy meal. Pop this in the oven, and it will do its job cooking. While the chicken wings is baking in the oven, we've got 20 minutes, and so we're going to try to get some practicing done properly. Hand still hurts, actually. My cover is already dirty from the ink. I'm gonna pour over this honey sauce. All right, kids, dinner! So while they are eating their dinner, super frustrating because I can draw out the pattern, right? But it doesn't translate well when I'm using the blade. The more I do, I take the worse I get. Should we bath? The kids need to be bath, so I just submitted this one. And fingers crossed. I got my little buddy here to keep me company. The sunny weather is such a game changer for your mood. You know how I like these kits, they always give me like an Allen key and you love them and you're so thankful for them and so you keep them and then what happens is you end up with like 15 Allen keys. Why not a David key or a Brian key? I'm just making um, a little beauty trolley. It means that when I do the procedures in the future, I'll be handy to have this trolley. I have a trolley already. But it's a bit small. I've been wondering, should I take the kids on holiday? It's first world problem, but like we really haven't traveled um, in the past two years. It is quite overwhelming, especially when you really have to stay in your island for a while. I used to get really upset. Just the whole thought of bringing them away on holiday by myself. Um, the thought still overwhelmed me a little bit. And maybe I won't need to bring them by myself, but I'm not as scared of it anymore as I was. I just popped these little trays on. There we go, one. Lately I've had a few messages from some of you guys asking how is it possible to study with kids and balance work. It's always gonna be different for everyone. If you can have someone I can help you, Ryan, like a parent, that would be great. My parents just aren't really the babysitting type. But, you know, when they go to their daddy, that's when I'm able to get time off. But usually it's kind of like catch up time for me. Um, with that being said, I think that's why I said it's different for everyone because thankfully we work, I'm able to work around my kids and it's honestly not as intense as it used to be. I'll wake up a little bit earlier to get some studying done. Um, you know, sometimes when they're having their dinner, that's when I'll kind of sneak off. I know I'm supposed to eat with them, and for the most part, I do, but sometimes I know, okay, it looks like they've got another like 10, 15 minutes. So I'll sneak off for a little bit, do some practicing, and we'll come back. Um, and then when I go to bed, I try to sneak in like another hour, half an hour. That's been a bit more intense, but I know it's not always gonna be like this. There are times where I feel a little bit more burnt out, but you know, that's. I think that's the case of everyone and when I really think about it, it's not so bad for me. I think about the single mothers out there that don't get any help, balancing so many jobs. Obviously, you know, everyone's struggle is unique. It doesn't matter who has it harder and whatnot. We all have our own limits. We all have our scenarios. What matters is that we try our best. I always just say, do what you can. Obviously it depends what you're studying, certain things will take longer. It does help that when I'm studying with like, I really enjoy it so it doesn't even feel like work to me. Just have realistic expectations. I always recommend the 
um, reverse one year engineer method. So don't look so far, even a year later, picture where you want to be and then reverse the steps and then go for it from there.